Scientists and conservationists are attempting to use native flat oysters and blue mussels to improve the health of Port Phillip Bay. They've started using the shellfish to build reefs in waters off Geelong, St Kilda and Carrum in an effort to restore their presence in the bay. Cameron Best reports. It's an Australian first project attempting to repopulate natural shellfish habitats which it is hoped will lead to more productive fisheries. Until relatively recent times, the seabed around Port Phillip Bay was littered with native oyster reefs and mussel beds. But since the 1800s, they've been taken for food and the shells pulverised for building roads and mortar. These uh, shellfish reefs were essentially dredged over the last 100 and 150 years and extracted out of the bay. The reefs were once home to all manner of sea life and also acted as the bay's water filter, with each large oyster able to purify 150 litres of water a day. It looks like a, a ghost town on the sea floor or, you know, it's just a wasteland. Against the industrial backdrop of Geelong's now defunct aluminium smelter, scientists and conservationists from the Nature Conservancy and Fisheries Victoria are attempting to restore some of the bay's pristine origins. They are growing 40,000 native oysters on scallop shells and then deploying them on specially prepared plots of limestone rubble to reform the reefs. So we're hoping that that's, that's just going to create a massive big mat on the seabed when we put it down in tonnes instead of little bags like that. It will take a couple of years for the oysters to clump and become adults, providing they survive. There are a whole bunch of other critters down there that like to eat small shellfish. The group's long-term goal is to establish house block sized reefs dotted throughout the bay. To do that we're going to be requiring um, you know, millions of, of baby oysters and tens of tonnes of mussels. If successful, the model will be rolled out. Uh, in South Australia, Western Australia uh, and also in New South Wales and Tasmania to help uh, recreate these reefs uh, all across southern Australia. An appealing prospect for shellfish lovers of all species. Cameron Best, ABC News.